Welcome back, Augmented Ones. Augmented Sync Week 32 of 2020. We're halfway there. And starting off for this week, we're finishing up Dragon Week. Part of finishing up Dragon Week, well, continuation of Dragon Week. Horsey will be spawning for a spotlight hour. That'll be double candy. Horsey, double candy. Get that Kingdra. Good for Great League. Other leagues as well, as it is a water dragon type. So it's not going to be entirely weak to ice. It'll still be pretty weak to ice and fairy and some of the other things as well. But it does make a nice niche niche meta pick. But yeah, don't forget you're still going to need a dragon scale. Which, actually, during the Dragon Week research, you did aw- get awarded one early on in the week. So, there you go. <laughs> if you haven't gotten that Kingdra yet. Especially since it'll help you in that Kanto medal if you haven't finished that... No. Not Kanto. Johto. Yeah, because other people starting the game late, but might still be playing right now, after GoFest and all the festivities... They may need a little help completing those medals, so Dragon Week definitely helps them with that, especially Double Candy. So Wednesday, day three of the week, hump day, halfway there, will be the Rayquaza Raid Hour. That's the standard time, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., your local time. Most important part when it comes to there is Rayquaza will be in raids. You can invite friends. You can do anything you need. Just get out there, do some raids. And don't forget that Rayquaza's Shiny is released, and it's a gold and black shiny. Very unique, very nice. And great prep, great prep work for the Megas being introduced probably later this year as they've alluded to it multiple times. And don't forget that Rayquaza is just a really good generalist to have on your team. Great for taking out gyms, great for taking out raids, and just a strong Pokemon to have in your lineup. Double weak to ice, but honestly, what Dragon-type Pokemon isn't weak to ice or double weak to ice? Half of them are. They have wings, they had that Red Bull, they're going to fly, they're going to die to the ice. It happens. Winter is coming. Anyway, for the rest of Dragon Week, you have until Thursday is pretty much your last full day for it. Nothing else is going on during that time frame. Because Friday starts Enigma Week. But just another note real quick. When it comes to the Dragon types, work on that Dragon Metal. The Dragon types are very elusive as in their nature. And that Dragon Metal is very tricky to work on at times. But keep in mind that you can Pineapp, catch these Dragon-type Pokemon, and evolve them for that extra point on that Dragon Metal as well. That way you can actually get those extra points. And the most important thing to remember here is that Niantic has already said that the level cap will be increased, but it won't be the conventional way of gaining XP. Now, from playing Ingress and other Niantic games, they utilize their metal system and achievement point system to impact each level individually, which means that in order to hit the next level after they've decided that, okay, XP isn't the only thing that you need, that means that after level 40, maybe level 41, it will require you to have 15 gold medals. But it may not be gold medals per se, because you can get gold medals from gyms. It may require a bigger number, like maybe 50 gold medals, because you can get those gold medals from gyms. So it could be that it factors in those dragon-type medals. The dragon-type medal, and will require a new tier of metal, say a platinum, onyx, diamond, gold, diamond, platinum, Pearl, Ruby, Sapphire. Yeah, they may switch to just 
the gemstones now. Maybe Diamond and Pearl will be the top ones because everyone's hoping for a Sinnoh a Sino remake. But we'll see how it actually ends up going. And the other factor is because if you look on those medals, there's actually a small percentage on there. So currently, if you have a gold, a gold tier dragon medal, it will increase your catch rate by 3%. By increasing that catch rate by 3%, you then catch things better. If you'll notice that every time that you capture a Pokemon, the medals show up up at the top right after it captures and stays in the ball, that was actually a bonus. You caught that Pokemon based off of the bonus to your medal. And that was the main factor there to remind you that, oh yeah, these medals do matter. So work on that dragon medal as much as you can during this event because Niantic knows what they're doing, and it may not seem like it has that much sense going on, or it's just a throwaway event, something like that, but no, they have, they have some ideas and plans up their sleeve, so it's almost like it's a bit of an enigma, what may be happening in the background, which actually starts Friday, the Enigma Week. For the Enigma Week... The Pokemon that are going to be spawning will be Staryu, Jigglypuff, Clefairy, Lunatone, Solrock, Baltoy, Bronzor, and Elegum. These Pokemon, most of them have all their shinies released, yeah? Staryu, Jigglypuff, Clefairy, Lunatone, Solrock, Baltoy, Bronzor, and Elegum. Yes, all these Pokemon in the wild will have their shiny have their shinies available oh wait except for elegum that one doesn't have its shiny out but it'll still be rare out in the wild so capture all you can and seven seven kilometer eggs cleffa iglybuff lunatune soul rock and elegum the pokemon that will be in seven kilometer eggs will be cleffa iglybuff lunatone soul rock and elegum so hatch some eggs or just save up for the next week. That's up to you, depending on what you're actually looking for in game. The other thing to keep in mind for this week as well, it's going to be raid Pokemon as well. And Bronzong, Claydol. I probably meant to say Bronzor for the first one. Bronzong in the second one. And Elog. in there as well, as well as the unknowns of U-L-T-R-A. I wonder what that could spell. Probably something in celebration for a achievement of ultra magnitude that are, they're trying to go plus something. Mm. Maybe, not sure. Anyway. And don't forget, Deoxys will have his normal shiny form released during this week as well. So don't forget to keep an eye out for those raids. Hit up a few, invite a few, and make sure that you actually go out and capture them. Deoxys is considered a mythical type Pokemon, which means you need to capture that shiny by yourself. Well, with friends raiding with you, but... Mythicals are unable to be traded currently at this time frame unless they decide to change the status of certain Pokemon from mythical to legendary or make certain mythicals available, available to be traded. It's currently only available if you capture it yourself. So good balls, good calls, good luck. And while and while everything's going on in the background there, Magikarp Community Day actually starts on Saturday, August 8th, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. your local time. Magikarps will be spawning out in the wild with a catch bonus of three times the Stardust. 
Great for stocking up. Never know what's going to be going on when you might need some Stardust to power up new Pokemon. Also, this is a great time to be working on that Fisher Metal. 300 of the big Magikarp is what's needed to get the gold. And to be able to unlock, you still have to buy it, the fishing vest, boots, and the pants under the metal. It's the opposite order. You get the vest for gold, the boots for bronze, and the pants for silver. So yeah, that's how it goes for that. I'm sitting at 259 myself right now, hoping to get that 300th big magic carp during here, as well as maybe hit maybe 500 or something during this event, because those big magic carps are very elusive. But make sure that you have plenty of storage available. Save which ones you can. Figure out if they are a big magic carp, which its status should be extra large in both its height and its weight. Save those big Magikarps, and you can actually trade with other players as well for their big Magikarps. That way you both can, extra, can get an extra point in that big Magikarp medal. Because as we alluded to earlier, when it comes to hitting new levels in Pokemon Go, those medals are going to be vital towards actually hitting those new levels because it won't only work for XP. It'll be based off of medals and other achievements that you've achieved in game. And what bigger achievement than catching big Magikarps? It's a little fishy, but Niantic has their plans, and we're very excited to see them unfold in front of us. So that's all for this week's Adventure Sync. Remember, good balls, good calls, good luck. Stay augmented, my friends, and we'll meet you out there.